This is Graduate Monkey Numerical Reasoning App Tutorial. In this episode, we will show you how to solve a pie chart numerical reasoning problem under 30 seconds. Look at the donut chart. It exhibits the revenues of five Chinese smartphone manufacturers. Let me read the question. Which smartphone manufacturer has 16.9% of the Chinese market in terms of 2012 annual revenue? It seems that they're asking you to convert each revenue amount to a percentage figure until you find the one that's equal to 16.9%. If we start with manufacturer 5, then we take 7.8 and divide it by the sum of all five figures. So, 7.8 divided by, in brackets, 7.8 plus 3.7 plus 3.5 plus 4.6 plus 2.3. The result is 0.3562 or 35.62%. 35.62% is a lot higher than 16.9%. So we have to continue the process until we find the 16.9 figure. And you have to do it under one minute. Does it sound unreasonable? Because it is. This is not how you solve a numerical aptitude test. Here's a 30 second solution. Sum up all five figures, then multiply the result by 16.9 of that result. So you get the revenue amount that represents 16.9% of that market. So step one, 7.8 plus 2.3 plus 4.6 plus 3.5 plus 3.7 equals to, equal to 21.9. Step two, 21.9 times 0 0.169 which equal, equals to 3.70 or 3.7 when you round it to one decimal place. And that's it. The correct answer is the manufacturer that generated 3.7 billion in annual revenue which is manufacturer 4. Here's another tip to speed up things a little bit more. Drop the decimal points when summing up the five figures. So instead of 7.8, you take 78. Instead of 2.3, you take 23. So you avoid entering a dot into the calculator each time. When you do have the final result, you can divide it by 10 to arrive at the correct answer. That could save you extra 10 seconds or so in the end. In the end, what is it all about? If you watched the movie called Any Given Sunday, you should remember the quote from the Al Pacino character. You found out life is a game of inches. So is football. Actually, aptitude tests are all a game of seconds. For each question, of course. All these saved seconds add up to several minutes, which can make a difference between passing and failing. Have a nice day. Comprehensive aptitude test tutorials only on graduatemonkey.com